Hello, I'm Mr. White. This is Lesson 1-7, Distributed Property. Let's go. To solve problems in mathematics, it's often useful to rewrite expressions in simpler forms, or sometimes go back from simpler to more complicated, and then you can rearrange. Uh, so the distributive property is another property of real numbers that us usually helps with simplifying expressions. If you notice, we have a times and then parentheses b plus c. What we can do is we can distribute the a to the b and to the c by multiplication. And that is the same as a times b plus a times c. Okay, if we just switch the sign with the minus inside, it still becomes the same thing. If we flip and move the a on the other side, it's okay to do that too. So we have b times a and then add c times a or b times a minus c times a. So let's do a couple examples here. Notice if we start with the fraction though, let's end with the fraction. If you start with the decimal, let's end with the decimal. Okay. So simplification first. No parentheses on 1, 2, and 3. We have 6y minus 8 plus 2y plus 5. Notice we have two expressions here that have y's in them. So we can add them together. We have 6 plus 2 gives us 8y and then we can add that negative 8 and 5 to give us negative 3. Go ahead, you try number 2 and 3, I'll give you 30 seconds. Go. Okay, let's see how you did. You should have gotten for 2, negative 4a plus 11. And for 3, we should have 3r plus 5. If you notice, we had 3s here, so that really becomes 8r minus 5. All right, I'm going to jump down to one more here, number 7. Let's see, notice we have the fractions. That's okay, because we just have 1 half plus 5 halves. Notice the denominators are the same. So 1 plus 5 gives you 6 halves, which is really 3h. And then we take the 5 minus the 3 gives us minus 2. So 3h minus 2. Go ahead, hit pause. Do 4, 5, 6, and 8, and check back in a couple minutes. Go. Welcome back. So check your 4, 5, 6, and 8. Uh, notice, really 8, you got to be careful with the 2 thirds and the 9. Simplify that to 25 thirds negative. Uh, other than that, if you're still struggling, please seek help. Jump down to number 9 now. Now we're going to take the expression and apply the distributive property with parentheses. Notice, we're going to take this 4, because it's 4 times the quantity x plus 3, and we're going to distribute that to the x, and we're going to distribute the 4 to the 3. So, 4 times x is 4x, 4 times 3 is 12. If we continue on, let's go down. Okay, notice the 2 is on the right hand side, that's okay. Let's just take this 2, multiply it by the 2r, we're still going to get 4r. Take the 2 times the negative 3, we're going to get minus 6. And the last one, 1 half times 1 half, that is, don't say 1, that's 1 fourth m. And then half of negative 4 gives you negative 2. Again, hit pause. Do 10, 11, 13, 14, and 16. Check back in a couple minutes. Go. All right, welcome back. Uh, hopefully you did well. Be careful with the decimals. Uh, number 14 in particular, normally we usually put the variable in front, uh, but negative 6 minus 2x or negative 2x minus 6, they both are the same expressions. Flip over. Again, take it a little bit more complicated. Now we're going to combine like terms and distribute at the same time, or distribute first, then combine, or combine, then distribute. Okay, so let's take number 17. Notice we have a 6y, but we do have 2 times the quantity y plus 1. So let's distribute first, make this 2y plus 2. Then notice we have a 6y and a 2y, so we get 8y plus 2. Okay, number 23, 
starting with a fraction on the outside let's distribute the fraction through to both the 2m and the 6 not to the negative 10 the negative 10 is separate so we're going to get 2 thirds m take a third of 6 and we get plus 2 and then we still have that minus 10 so we end up getting 2 thirds m minus 8 and again hit pause do the rest of them check back in a few minutes go Welcome back. Uh, number 20, 3m plus 5, 18, 9a minus 2, 19, 4r minus 8, 21, 10.2w minus 36, 22, 19s minus 6, and 24 was 6x plus 1. Remember, make sure you show all your work. We'll be checking that to, to make sure you complete everything. Uh, again, if you're still missing a couple or little minute things, please seek help. And uh, we'll move on. Number 25 and 26. Mr. Fuller tried to simplify the following, but made a really common mistake in each problem. So help him out. Teacher out. He needs help. First identify that first mistake he makes, and then, do sh then show that correct solution. One thing you can do is actually just solve it yourself first, and then go back and look. Because it, it, sometimes it's harder to see when the work's already written down. So if we just draw a line, and I rewrite the problem... Plus one. Now we think, okay, forget about the left-hand side. What are you supposed to do? Well, we know that we need to distribute multiplication or order of operations. So we're going to leave the 8 alone, and we're going to go plus 6p plus 2. And then do we have anything complicated? No, 6p and then plus 10. So we get 6p plus 10. Where is the mistake over here? Well, notice in this second one right here, there is no 8 plus 6p plus 2. There's a 10. So what did Mr. Fuller do? He added the 8 and the 2 first. So Mr. Fuller added 8 plus 2 before distributing the 2. Bad mistake. He should have distributed the 2, should have multiplied 2 times the 3 p plus 1 to equal 6 p plus 2 first. All right, you try 26, check back with me in about a minute or so. Shouldn't be too long. Remember, draw your line, do the problem first. Go. Welcome back. Notice, Mr. Fuller got D minus 8. You should have gotten D plus 8. What did he do? Well, he did not distribute this negative 2 to the negative 4 also. He just took 2 times that negative 4 and got negative 8. So Mr. Fuller was wrong. Congratulations if you got that right. Okay. Now remember, take everything that we applied, both op order of operations and so forth, properties, now apply the distri distribution property and simplifying and apply it to 1-7 application. Remember, check your answers on the website. Seek help if you need it. And remember, do your best, forget the rest. Bye for now.